Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cappies. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, goats. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful Soul family. Thank you all so much, Soul Tribe, for your continuous love and support. Your love is always appreciated here on this platform. Thank you so much for evolving right along with me, Soul family. And welcome, welcome back to my returning beautiful souls. Thank you all so much, subscribers, for your comments and your feedback down below. And welcome, Capricorn, to the ones that are new here. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I truly appreciate it. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, loves don't forget to subscribe we would love to have you as well capricorn a part of our soul family as well and be sure to adjust your notification bells when i do go live on this platform for all zodiac sirens as well throughout the week i also go live for questions as well if you have a question that you would love to ask through tarot all right so no further ado goats we're going to go ahead and dive in yes we're going to see about this person that's on your mind we're going to see what's coming towards you for love and romance all right so come on in smash that like button gems and let's talk about this thing called love all right yes love 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 is in the air capricorn let's see what's coming towards capricorn placements for love and romance the reading here is a collective general reading for Capricorn placements. Um, so definitely take here what resonates for you goats and leave here on the table what does not. So that way it gives space and opportunity for whomever needs the messages here today. All right. However, if you would love to book a personal reading, my email details is down below in the description box. All right. So no further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. What's coming towards the goats? What do we have for Capricorn for love and romance? What's going on in Capricorn's love life here, spirit guides? What do we have for my beautiful Capricorns? What do we have for the ghosts? What do we have for Capricorn? So we have the three of swords, okay? This is air elements here, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy here, okay? Uh, this is indicating of a heartbreak, all right? Some of you all may be experiencing, and if so, my apology loves, all right? I hope things get better for you in the near future, all right? Or this could be someone in your space or someone in your energy here, Capricorn, that is experiencing currently a heartbreak, all right? But we're going to dive more into this energy here. This could also be an air sign here for some of you all as well. Aquarius, a Gemini, or again, a Libra, all right? So let's get more insight and details here about the Three of Pentacles. Let's see what is this referencing to here today. Tell me more, Gordon Angels, Ancestors, please, about the Three of Swords energy here for Capricorn placements. Tell me more about this situation or circumstance here. What else did the ghost need to know? Okay, we got the Two of Pentacles here, Earth Elements here, Taurus, Capricorn, also Virgo energy here, okay? So this is what was taking place here or what has caused the situation to be a heartbreak, okay? Someone here was either in a situation where they had multiple um, priorities that caused the relationship to be off balance because this person maybe had a difficult time for some of you all goats balancing their love life with you and balancing maybe their career or things or other uh, obstacles or challenges that they may have had on their plate so they may couldn't give you their undivided attention or give you the time or effort that you requested of from this person as you were doing for them all right that's for some of you all okay others of you all this could have been a third party situation here where this person was involved with someone else and juggling you with someone else or trying to live a double life trying to have multiple of partners or situations and circumstances okay so let's clarify the two of pentacles energy here okay clarify the two of pentacles here for the goats tell me more about this energy here please spirit guides thank you clarify the two of pentacles 
Why do we have the Two of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. We got here the Knight of Wands, okay? This is a fire element here as well. Some of y'all, this person here may be a fire sign. They could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here. This card indicates someone that loves to travel. Um, they're very attractive. They're very fun, outgoing, a good time to be with or be around a person like this here. So I feel like you both had several good times, you know, events going out together and things of that sort. This is someone that definitely know the ropes, okay? Uh, they're very uh, smart and intelligent. They know how to have a good time. They know all the great places to explore and adventure. It's just the thing is when it comes to selling down with a person like this, um, they wasn't as grounded as you maybe want this person to be with you. Um, they maybe was kind of like in and out because this is again an energy that loves to explore. This is someone that is very curious and they always is up for a new adventure. Meaning that could have been a new adventure with someone else. Uh, this is someone that goes from maybe place to place that could travel for work, uh, meet a lot of several different new people all the time. So they're always engaging and exchanging energies with new people. And that may could have been the issue here. And this person trying to juggle, you know, doing that with selling down with you. So it's like this person couldn't fully, I feel like 100% commit to you because of those other priorities that they had in the way and maybe not prioritizing you as you were prioritizing this person here goes okay so I feel like one thing may have led to another and then the pattern of this person you know not being honest with you you may were checking this person for this responding asking of these uh you know behavior patterns or you know presenting yourself to this person and asking this person about these type of situations that have happened and it may over time became very overwhelming for you because of the difficult situations with this person's behavior patterns here. So I do see this is an energy here of now being a result of the three of swords here, okay? Wow, so let's see, let's get more insight out of this Knight of Wands energy here. And I'm sorry to hear that for some of you all that is currently experiencing this Capricorn, okay? Some of y'all, again, this could be a Cancer, a Leo, a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, and or they could have been an Earth sign like yourself. This could have been a Taurus here, Capricorn, or a Virgo here for some of you all, or even a Capricorn like yourself, okay? Clarify the Knight of Wands, please. Why do you have the Knight of Wands energy here, please, and thank you. All right, we have, uh -oh, excuse me, I'm trying to. Sorry for the noise in the background. I was trying to stretch and reach over my chair to get the card that fell on the floor. Now we have the sun card to Leo energy here again. Some of y'all, it's a significance with the Leo. This person could have been a Leo or have very high Leo placements or fire element in their chart, okay? The sun card talks about, um, again, going on a new adventure. Um, starting something new. So I feel like some of you all, this person maybe wanted to come back around, even though the situation between you two wasn't in the best space on the last time that you two maybe linked up or um, addressed it, the last situation from the past here. So it's like now someone is wanting to come back around, okay? Let's clarify the sun cards here. Why do we have the sun cards here for Capricorn? Why do we have the sun card here for Capricorn, Gordon, and Angels, Ancestors of the Highest Light? And yeah, we have the three of pentacles here, earth elements here. Um, again, this could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo here. The three of pentacles also talks about working together as a team. Um, collaborating. So some of y'all, this person is now in a different space where they actually want to come in and possibly fix this situation or wanting to put in the effort for what they maybe was lacking in that area in the past, okay? Clarify the Three of Pentacles here, please. Clarify the Three of Pentacles for the goats. Wow, Capricorn, if the reading here so far is resonating for you, loves, again, hit that like button. That would be very much appreciated. Subscribe again if you're new here, Capricorns. And again, if you would love to book a personal reading to kind of see what's next for you and this person or what's the potential outcome. All right, my email details is down below in the description box, okay? So we have here the Nine of Pentacles being clarified by the uh, 
three of pentacles, excuse me. And then we have the five of pentacles here. And then we have the high priestess, Pisces energy here. So some of you all, this person here may be a Pisces, okay? But this is indicating to me that some of y'all are just going to continue to choose to be single in this situation here. You feel like here you have built so much and put so much work and effort back into you versus putting this into this relationship and the results that you receive in the past was the three of swords so you're not wanting to go backwards you're not wanting to start over you're not wanting to take that risk here with this person that's now wanting to come back in and collaborate and work with you on this partnership here this person here may have even put you in a financial unstability place once before because of the investment that you chose to put into this person so they may left you in a financial loss uh for some of you all and others of you all this person felt like because of the situation that they felt a little left out in the cold here but you know hey you felt left out in the cold as well when you were being presented with being treated the way that you were treated you felt like you were not treated in a fair uh perspective here you know and now you're going to continue i feel like to focus more on things that are valuable to you and going towards where you know that you are deserving of here is what i see because the high priestess is here and it's not like this person now doesn't know that it's like now you both know of what happened here and what transpired in the past okay Wow, Capricorns, definitely my loves. What a great detail insight for reading so far. Now we're going to close out with my raw famous tarot index cards here. Let's see whether this person have to say on behalf of everything here that was channeled out, you know, just kind of seeing everything, the perspective of everything. Um, and again, definitely if it's resonated for you so far, smash that like button, okay? This is definitely a very insightful confirmation clarity type of reading here. Let's see what this person wants to say, Ghost, as we close out your reading today let's see how they feel where is their perspective of things here all right yeah look at that we have i will make it all up for you and i feel my best around you and that's something that this person will never be able to shake the fact that they will always remember you as someone that they always felt their best around you really allowed this person to feel more of who they are and I feel like they may not even know the capability or things that they were able to do until you came along and very much so inspired this person here and for that they are never forget you for that they will always uh, sit on this person's spirit about you and this is why I feel like they're now wanting to come in and make up everything because they knew from you know their past experiences here they knew over time what was going on here with that high priestess being out here all right but this is definitely someone I see coming in and wanting to reconcile with you uh, wanting to make amends here with you as well so definitely loves be sure to use your discernment here Capricorns okay be mindful of your choice that you make all right and be sure Sure to definitely follow your intuition all right wow i'm gonna leave this portion of the reading here but again if you would love to book a person reading my email details is down below again if you're new here welcome welcome subscribe be sure to set your bells for when i do go live on this platform and if you would love to extend your stay and become part of our patreon family that is where i do offer early access to my readings i also provide free uh, questions every time I go live for my Patreon family as well. So definitely that's something that you're interested in. You would love to sign up and send your stay here. That Patreon link is on the homepage as well, Goes. Thank you all so much for your love and support. And I definitely look forward to your next reading, my loves. Bye-bye.